we need to understand how much depends on the third chakra. The third chakra, the solar plexus, they are what the only thing that could allow us to be the bigness that we are. If the third chakra doesn't allow it, the soul cannot awaken. The all-encompassing spirit cannot awaken. Here, we give the permission to ourselves to be who we are. You see? Then, as soon as we do give this permission, the upper parts begin to blossom. Otherwise, in a way, whatever we will perceive through spiritual experiences will be distant from ourselves. We will turn it into objects. Like, wow, I experience the all-encompassing spirit or the oneness. There is only one and so on and so there is only love. Yes, but it means that it's you. If it's all-encompassing oneness, it means that there cannot be another but you, right? You're stuck with yourself. Still, we objectify it. We speak of it as something. But it's not a something. It's you. And it is meant to to be embodied. So that's why the third chakra is so important. If it doesn't say yes, all others, they remain not really fulfilled. They cannot, they cannot really unfold and show you your true nature. Okay? Hmm.